Hey, 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 this is Beverly and I will not be denied. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Be sure and share this broadcast with your friends and with your family. Really quick, I just wanted to kind of share an experience and hopefully it will encourage you um, or give you just a point of reference. I had a situation recently and I had the opportunity to really say something that would you know, tell some people about themselves. And I wanted to do it. I ain't even gonna front. I really wanted to do it and I would have felt so good. I would have felt so good. But, in, you know, and I only had a moment to decide if I was going to react to what happened or if I was gonna sit and let it go by. You know, I, I had a split second. I decided to let it go by. And the reason for that is because in that split second, even though it was just a second, I realized that, yeah, I would have felt good letting people have it. That's just the truth. But it would have probably had a negative long-term effect. To me, that's growth and that's big. Because back in the day, I would have stood up for myself and said what I felt like I needed to say and let the chips fall where they may. But now it's like, not just for me, it's not just about not reacting and not getting upset and, and keeping your cool. It's about, is it even worth it? You, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to sound like an ABC after school special, but in my older years, I'm realizing that people will say, some people will say and do things on purpose to try and get a reaction out of you so you can belittle yourself, so you can shoot yourself in the foot, so you can make yourself look stupid. In, in, in other words, it's a setup. And some people will do things on the low and do things on sneak tip and it's for their own gratification. But you just happen to be caught in the crossfire or a victim of the circumstance. They're guilty. They're just as guilty as they can be, caught red-handed. But how you react, Beverly, is what I told myself how you react in this moment is a reflection of you. It's a reflection of your level of maturity. It is a reflection of your level of peace. In this situation, you let these folks have it. It shows that you're immature. It shows that you are focusing on what they're saying and what they're doing instead of your goals. And who, who benefits from that? And I realized all of this in a split second. Well, I, I take that back. I chose not to react. And it was just a split second that I had to make that decision. But once I decided not to react, I sat and I thought about it. So why did you not do it? I, you know, in real life, I tussled with myself. You know, you could have... And everything would have been everything. You wouldn't have had no more problems out them jokers. But at the same time, I was like, I got things to do. There are people who are attached to me that are relying on me to get my stuff together and keep it together. Point blank, period. So helping those who need the help, helping myself to grow is more important than getting people told. It is in moments like this where I have to rely on God to fight my battles. Because, you know, in my 20s, child, it was nothing for somebody to say or do something and I just get them told and be done with it. But now, if I just tell God what the, he already knows, but, you know, if I go to God and say, boom, 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 this, this, and this is happening and I need you to take care of it, he can do so much more than I could ever dream of doing. And it's not necessarily about vengeance and, you know, getting back and getting people told or whatever. But I'm like this. I don't mess with you, so don't mess with me. You mess with me, then hey, 
You get what's coming to you because God going to handle that because I'm fitting the tail. I'm going to rat you out. I'm going to be a tattletale. That's all I'll do it. All right. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to release your genius. Pull off the impossible every day. Remember, you will have whatever it is that you say. So be positive when you speak, queen.